No quads planned for Dennis. But enjoy some of the best spins in the event and total commitment to the choreography. Flip, triple toe. Difficult forward inside bracket entry to the triple axle. Strong triple loops. Brilliant choreography and superb musicality projected through the steps. Coach and choreographed by Stefan Lombiel, and he really is like a mimic to Lombiel's movement. I remember when he was previously taught by Alexei Ermanov and seeing him then thinking he was like a little carbon copy of Ermanov, and now he appears to have mimicked his coach brilliantly. A few better skaters to want to mimic Lombia, one of the absolute greatest. You can see the amount of work that must have gone into the choreography and construction of the program, the attention to detail. Brilliant. Lombia happy. I'd be very interested to see how the judges score the skating skills because to me, whilst the performance and the composition of the program is brilliant, there wasn't perhaps as much flow and glide or use of power, speed and acceleration, which are some of the buzzwords that the judges are looking for when they come to give out the skating skills component score. Nothing but appreciation for the choreography. I just wonder how those other components will help him. Triple X, I think, will be given a quarter short of rotation. Then it's much like Jason Brown, who we'll see from the States in the next group, competing without a quad. It has more of a focus on those component scores. And you can see here in these slow motion replays, that attention to detail. And I was really aware of the multi-directional skating throughout. Here you can see rotating 
both left and right, most skaters far more comfortable rotating to the left. So the leader in the program component scores at the moment, the Shoma Uno, he's got a total score of 44.6 for program components. And he was getting nines in the components out of 10 for skating skills. How the lack of speed effect, Dennis? Seems happy with that. 